Today, we're gonna show you how to install double slat black kitty grills on your BMW E90. Hey, this is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. Today, we're gonna show you how to do one of the easiest aesthetic mods on your BMW E90, and that is swapping out the grills. Now, as you may know, BMWs typically come with chrome grills, and although some may think they look nice, on this car, I don't think it's doing it justice because there's no other chrome pieces. As you can see, there is a carbon fiber front lip. All of the trim is black. The mirror surround is black. Everything's black, so there's no other chrome. So I think by adding this, it's going to be a nice little subtle touch and it's going to dramatically improve the front end of this car. So let's get started. Let's begin by talking about how kidney grills are held in and then we're gonna show you two different methods to do this installation. If we flip it over, you can see that there are two of these tabs on the top, there are two on the bottom, and there's one on the side. Basically what's going to happen is these slide into your bumper and they're held in just by these little tabs right there. So the name of the game is we need to figure out how to push these tabs down, apply pressure out, go across, make sure that all of them are released, and then pop it out. Then we're gonna get the new one and pop it right back in. Let's begin by removing the driver's side kidney grill. So as I mentioned before, we need to figure out a way to press the tabs in. Now, sometimes what you can do is you can take your finger, you can stick it in the kidney grill, you can disengage the tab, apply some outward pressure, go around and you can pop it out just like this. So once again, just figure out where the tab is. You pull up on the tab and then as you're doing this, you wanna apply some outward pressure. So there's one over there. Here's one over here. Okay, and there's one on the side. So as you can see, I already have three of the tabs off. Now for most people, it's pretty easy to get the bottom ones off and the side one's not too bad, but the top ones are very, very tight. So might be very difficult for you to do, but all you need to do is take something like this pick tool, and as you can see, I just curved it around. And what we're going to do is we are going to use this to reach around and also pull down on that tab. So, let's feel for the tab here. So it feels like it's right over here. And we'll reach this up. We'll pull down the tab, and there you go. The other one just happened to pop out along with it, so that made it easy. But once again, what I was doing, I'll show you on the one I actually did it on, is I reached up, I got this pick tool on here, and then I was able to just pry down just enough. And then, as you saw, it also led to this other one popping out over here. Then all you need to do is take your new kidney grill, line it up, and pop it in just like that. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the old chrome and the new black. Now, although the way that we just showed you is the easiest, if you're having trouble getting to these clips, don't worry, we're gonna show you a different way on how to do that. This process begins by releasing your hood. Next, what you're going to do is take this little weather stripping piece, set it up and out of the way, do the exact same on the other side. Next, there are four T30 bolts. At this time, you can remove them. Then once you've done that, carefully pull the bumper back, reach behind, release all of the different tabs, just like that, pop the grills out. Then what you can do is take your new grill, line it up, clip it into place, then we can reinstall these four screws, put the weather stripping back on, and we're done. Okay, as you can see, both kidney grills are fully installed. I think they completely transform the way the front of this car looks and they look outstanding. Now, if you're interested in a set of kidney grills for your car, whether it be an E90, F30, F80, be sure to see the links in the description. Once again, my name is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com for all your BMW retrofit, performance, and aesthetic needs. Once again, my name is Brian. Thanks for watching and have a great day.